Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on solving quadratic inequalities of the form x squared plus bx plus c is greater than zero or less than zero, requiring rearrangement. And we want to solve the inequality k times k minus 3 is greater than 4. Now, as implied by the title, we should probably get this quadratic inequality in a form where there's no brackets anymore, there's no brackets here, and we have zero on one side of the inequality. So step one is to expand out any brackets and get zero on one side. So to expand a bracket, we just have to do the thing in the front of the bracket times each of the things inside the bracket. K times K is K squared. K times minus three is minus three K. And we've got greater than four. So we expand the brackets and we want zero on one side. And ideally we want the square term, in this case the k square term, on the side where it's positive. So we don't want to move the k squared over here because then it'll be negative k squared, which is bad. So I'm going to subtract four from both sides to get rid of that four. So we just get zero and we get k squared minus three k minus four is greater than zero. And now we have a quadratic inequality in the form that we've seen in previous videos. So how do we deal with inequalities like this? Well, the next step is just to factorize. So we just need two numbers that add to give the minus three. So they add to give this minus three and they times to give that minus four. So if they times to give a negative number, one of them's got to be positive, one of them's going to be negative. So it's probably going to be one and four, but one of them has to be negative. Oh, well, it's going to be one and minus four. It's one and minus four because those numbers multiply to give minus four. But when you add the two numbers, they do give you minus three. So that means this factorizes with two brackets. Well, it's in terms of K. So we've got K here and we've got the two numbers of one and minus four. So plus one minus four is greater than zero. And what's step number three? We then sketch that quadratic. So we've got the x and the y axis, but instead of x, we've actually got k, because it's in terms of k instead. So we've got the k axis, and then we're just gonna call this the y axis as before. Now, how do we draw a quadratic? We're trying to draw y equals k plus one times k minus four. And the way to do it is to find the roots, also known as the x-intercepts, in this case, the k-intercepts. What values of k would make y zero? What would make y zero here? Well, if k was minus one, you'd have minus one plus one, that would give you zero, and zero times anything would be zero. So we get a root of minus one, but we've seen this before. And if k was four, we'd have four minus four, which would be zero, and that would make y zero, so we've also got four. And then quadratics look like this. If it's a positive quadratic, where the, the square term is positive, it will be a smiley face shape. Now we're wondering where y, which is this, which is this, where is this y value of this whole expression greater than zero? On the line, where is the y value greater than zero? Well, it's these tails. Look, the y value is going to be positive, greater than zero in any of this region here, or it's going to be greater than zero in any of that region there. And then once we've identified those bits of the line, we just say, what can we say about k in this region? Well, anywhere on this line, the k value is less than minus one. So we've got k is less than minus one. And by the way, if this is greater than or less than, this should be consistent. And if this was greater than or equal to, then that should be greater or equal to or less than or equal to. It should be consistent. And what can we say about the k here? Well, the k value is greater than four. And remember, you're either in this part of the line or in this part of the line. You can't be in both at the same time. So you write or here. And that is the final answer. If this was less than zero instead, we had less than four at the start and we ended up with less than zero here, then it would actually be this part of the line. And then the answer would be that k is between minus one and four. So that would be the answer if that was less than zero here, but it's not. It's greater than zero. So that is the correct answer.